Do you control your thoughts completely? Or do you wonder sometimes where do they come from? The human mind has been the subject of study to some of the greatest minds of ancient times and of our times alike. No pun intended, but we have some interesting quotes. For instance, William James said that the greatest weapon against stress is our ability to choose one thought over another. Or René Descartes, who said, it's not enough to have a good mind. The main thing is to use it well. But how can we use our minds well? How can we use them to our advantage? This video is about a very teeny, teeny small bit of our brains. That's right here at the base of our brains, at the base of our spinal cord. And this teeny bit of our brain has so much pound for pound strength in the overall experience that we have in this world. So you probably heard of it already if you like self-development and this kind of thing. But I'm talking now about the RAS. The RAS is basically the doorman of the brain. Because think about this. Every moment, every second, billions and billions of bits of information are coming through your senses. So our skin is the greatest sensing organ of them all. You have billions of receptors all throughout your body. And they send that information through neurons that are fired up until your spinal cord. And then your spinal cord sends them to your brain. Also, your eyes send that information towards your brain. Your ears, your mouth, all of your senses are connected. And where do they connect? Exactly here at this little bulb called the RAS, the reticular activation system. So reticular because it's technically a small part of the retina. So the sensing part of your eyes and it connects to the auditory signal so what you hear and also through everything that you feel throughout your body so the RAS is technically the filter of the brain the doorman of the brain it's the thing that selects what senses what information will be sent to the rest of your brain to the neocortex, to the neural cortex. So to think about this, you've probably heard about having the reptilian brain. So that's the, the less sophisticated brain, the fight or flight reflex type of brain. And the RAS has all to do with that. And we have the neocortex, the, the new parts of the brain that are the more modern, the more sophisticated, that have to do with complex thought, have to do with complex emotions, but especially with more rational aspects, with more human aspects, let's, let me dare say. So this little part, the RAS, is a filter that tells the rest of your brain what to think of, what, to, what is important. And why is it so important after all? And why are we here? And why am I saying that this part controls your reality? Well, since it's a filter, it'll tell you what is relevant and you can teach it what is relevant. For instance, if you are in a crowd and you lose the people you are with, you're alone and you hear someone calling your name. So let's say, if I'm in a crowd and someone say, Gabe, Gabriel, my instance, my instinct will be to look. And the same thing with you. And if you are with someone and you call their name, they're probably going to look because you've been conditioned all your life to interpret your name as an important information. And that's why also, if you want to make friends, if you want to be more charismatic, just say the person's name as much as you can because they'll interpret that with familiarity and 
overall they'll like you more for it. But do you know another instance in which the RAS may work? When someone's pregnant, some of your friends or maybe your wife, your girlfriend, your sister is pregnant. Don't you start seeing pregnant women all around? And do you think it's it makes any sense that there were no pregnant women and suddenly there are a bunch of pregnant women? Of course not. They were there all the time, but you weren't noticing them because you were fil you weren't filtering for that information. The same thing if you want to buy something, if you want to buy a new car, for example. And let's say, look, I just love the Volkswagen Golf. And I want to golf and I want to golf and I want to golf and I want a blue Golf GTI. You'll start seeing golfs all around and especially the blue one. You'll notice it even more because you will be on the road. You will be crossing a street and you will see that car time and time and time again. And it's not that the car wasn't there before, but now you're filtering that information. You're paying attention to it. And that's what's so important about the RAS. And this is a way that you can train it to use it in your favor. So if you can train it to see the things that you want to buy or to see things that have to do with things that you are familiar with, you can also train for things that you want to familiarize yourself with. So think about the difference between thinking about all of the bad things. So if you filter all of the bad things, oh, I'm a victim, oh, I can't do this, I can't do that, I'm not good enough, you will see the world through that lens because your RAS, it's very smart and it's prone to self-fulfilling prophecies. Your subconscious brain is prone to self-fulfilling prophecies. Whatever you tell it, it will try to fulfill. It will try to become a reality. So if you're always thinking about the things you lack, you will continue lacking them because it will tend to make you act and filter the information in a way that you'll act and you'll do things that will just reinforce that lack. But if you think of things from the lens of abundance or from the lens of gratitude, from the lens of the things that you already like in your life, then you will see more and more things that reinforce that as well. So you will teach that the relevant parts are the good things, not the bad things. You will try to ignore the bad things and try to focus on the good things. Be a little Pollyanna-ish. If you're in a state that you're constantly seeing the bad things, oh, everything's bad, I'm a victim, the world is out to get me, quit that, start doing the, the opposite. Try to see the good things, try to see Look, I woke up today. Today is going to be a great day. Look, the sun is up. The birds are chirping. Let's look at the good things for a, to make a difference. Because if you only look at the bad, you'll start reinforcing only the bad, the bad, the bad. That's why it's so dangerous to be constantly on social media looking at things that make you rattled, that make you sick, that make you sad. Or looking at the news and you will just try to reinforce the things that are already in your mind. So don't do that because like I said before, the brain has a tendency to fulfill that, what it already believes to make you see the things that you already believe. So if you want to do something different, if you want to do something that you've never done before, or if you want to realize your potential, you need to think about those beliefs. You need to think about those instances in which you couldn't do something or you thought you couldn't do something because many times it's something that we have in our minds, but we actually could do them. It's just that we think, oh, that's not for me. That's not for someone like me. That's not for us. My family, yeah, we, we aren't smart. We aren't good enough. Yada, yada, yada. So money is the root of all evil. So we can't have money because that's bad. You start reinforcing those things subconsciously and you end up taking actions 
that end up reinforcing that. So it's also always a self-fulfilling prophecy. It's a cycle that you can't get out of unless you start taking the reins and you start training your RAS, this little part in your brain that filters all of the information that you get from your environment to do the things that you actually want to do. So that's why you need to think of what you want, not of what you don't want, because you're also training your RAS when you do that. So if you think about the things you actually want, so I want to be super successful. I want to be super healthy. I want to have awesome relationships. I want to feel good in my own skin. You'll start training your RAS to see the things that reinforce that. And also, when you do this, you need to say it in the present tense or even in the past tense. So, I am very successful. I am very healthy. I have a superhero body. You know, whatever it is that it's important for you, for you, look. Uh, I'm the best dad ever. I'm the best uh, boss ever. I'm the best whatever you want to be, whatever you are and whatever you want to be. You need to reinforce that to your own mind so that you actually believe it because you need to believe something before you achieve it. It's very rare that someone does something without them believing in it first. So if you can't visualize in your own brain the things that you want to do, the things that you want to achieve first, if it's something that's not so out of the realm of possibility in your mind that you can't even imagine it, then you won't achieve it. Like it's a no-brainer. No pun intended again, but it's a no-brainer. You won't achieve anything that you can't see yourself doing. And that's how we end up either self-sabotaging ourselves or putting ourselves up. So If we are constantly thinking of the things we lack, of the things that we can't do, of the things that we shouldn't do or whatever, our brain will want to fulfill that prophecy. And then that's where we start self-sabotaging ourselves because we didn't go into the deep, the core of the belief that some, somewhere, sometime in your life, someone said something and you took that as a truth. And that's a core belief of yours. So you need to do some soul searching. And I'll talk about an exercise to do in a couple minutes. And that will be your homework because that will help you so much to train your RAS. Like you won't believe the results you can achieve just by this simple exercise. And by doing the soul searching and fixing those core beliefs, you'll be able to get better beliefs and asking better questions, you will get better results. So for instance, if you use it the right way, you can do like Kobe Bryant with his mama mentality. With his mama mentality, he had to visualize himself not only being the champion, not only being the best, you need to visualize yourself doing the things that will take you there, doing the things that will make you the best. Because, of course, we're talking about the RAS, Some people may see it as manifestation. Some people may see it as the universe or God helping you, which is, in a sense, yes, it's true. You're teaching yourself. You're teaching your brain. And some might call it the God particle on your brain, the the thing that's connected to God, because you're helping to filter the information that you want from the world, the universe, the synchronicities. So you need to teach it also that not only the final result that you want to get to, but you need to think about the steps you need to take. Think about, for instance, back to the Kobe example, you wouldn't just think of being crowned the NBA champion. You'd have to think, look, I'm going to wake up tomorrow at five in the morning. I'm going to the gym. So I'm going to do this and then that. And this exercise and that exercise. And then I'm going back home, taking a nap, eating something. Then I'll go back to the gym for another hour or two. And then I'll do a scrimmage. And then I'll go back, eat, take a nap. Then I'll go back to the gym. And then I'll do something else. So 
you have to condition yourself to think about what would a regular Wednesday be when I already have the thing that I want to have, like to become that person that achieves whatever you want to achieve. What are your beliefs? What are the things you do? What, how's your day to day? So you need to think about all of that and see yourself through the thick and thin as well. See yourself through the hardship, not only through the glamorized parts, the good parts, but also through the hardships. Because to actually get there, you will need to condition yourself to be ready, to be prepared to go through those tough times. So now the exercise, the homework for you guys. And I trust me, if you truly do this exercise and you take it to your heart, I promise you will have awesome results. So I want you to get a piece of paper and you'll have three columns. First one will be things I've sabotaged myself with. So I just invented this exercise a couple minutes ago, but I think it might be interesting for you guys. Then you'll think about the belief that led you to sabotage yourself on that particular situation. Maybe it was a job interview that you could have and you ended up not going because you didn't think you were good enough. Maybe it was something to do with money, maybe it was something with sports, whatever it is, some situation in which you sabotage yourself. Maybe you had the chance of going on an exchange program or to travel somewhere and you got afraid and you didn't go. So whatever it is, it just needs to be something very personal that you sabotage yourself with. And then you'll have a column that's belief, so you'll think about the beliefs that made you not do the thing. And finally, the last column is the new belief. So I hope you can see it well. So first, the things I've sabotaged me, myself with, the belief that led to this, and the new belief. So for instance, if your belief was, I'm not good enough to do this job well, then you need a new belief in something like I'm, I am enough. I am worthy of this job opportunity. I, or if it was the travel that you didn't do because you were afraid of traveling alone or of going to another country, you'll say, so the belief was that you were afraid of going, for instance, you were afraid of getting on the airplane and many people have that. Uh, that fear of airplanes, not because they actually fear the plane, but because they fear the trip, they fear doing something new, they fear going on a transformation and changing. So that would be the belief. And then new belief is that I always leverage every opportunity that comes to me. I, I'm a person that, yeah, that, that's not afraid of anything. I love to see the world. I, I love to meet new cultures, meet new pe people. So whatever it is, so it, they just need to be things that are very personal to you. So things you sabotage yourself with, the belief that led to this, do some soul searching. So you go deep inside the true beliefs. Don't bullshit yourself. Go looking for the true beliefs, the things that are deep down. And then the new belief that you want to, to implement. And after you do this, after you have this list, then I want you to write a list with your new beliefs and write them in your present tense. And, and I want you to write them over and over again and to look through them every day. And if you can make it a habit of writing them again and again and again until you truly prime your RAS until you condition your subconscious to truly believe in those new beliefs. And also a tip, for instance, if you're thinking, I am good enough, I am healthy, I am strong, whatever it is, try to imagine yourself in the situation that you want it to be in 
and try to imagine fully like your full presence in that situation, the feelings you're having, feel, feel that success, feel what success looks for you in that situation and let yourself be there because you are there already. Time is an illusion. And if you can see yourself truly there, if you can see yourself as someone that is already able to do that, you'll have a breakthrough. Your potential is here right now. And as soon as you can see yourself doing this, you'll have this breakthrough and it will go through the roof. And if you're asking yourself, yeah, but like, what the hell have you done in your life that you've done this already? And for instance, one year ago, I'm recording this in May 2024. One year ago, I didn't think I had anything of value to tell people, to talk to people about on the internet. I didn't think I'd have a channel on YouTube using my second language and I'd have over 5,000 people subscribing. I didn't think that some of my videos would have thousands of views. I didn't think a bunch of things. I didn't think that I'd be able to have some very, very awesome people that I truly, deeply respect want to come on my podcast and be my guests. I didn't think that would become true. I didn't think that today I'd be actually thinking of writing a book and on the process of outlining the book. And hopefully, if you're looking at this one year from now, I'll have it published already. I didn't think a bunch of these things. But one day, I decided to change my mindset about each of those things. One day, I decided that I was going to change. A couple of years ago, I didn't think I could go to the gym five or six times a week. And of course, I haven't done it all the time in this period, but there were times in which I was more focused on my fitness and that I was going at least for, but usually five or six times. So there are many things that currently you think you can't do, but if you truly give yourself the chance and if you do that groundwork inside yourself, if you change yourself from the inside, it will become so, so, so much easier to do the things on the external world. So do this, do the exercise, start, start changing yourself inside. And I promise you, I promise you that if you do this and the, uh, the quickness of the results kind of depends on you. If you truly believe that you can start exercising every day, that you can start posting and you do, and you, go today to the gym or to the park or whatever place you have. Maybe if you don't have any place, just start doing some jumping jacks, do some push-ups wherever you are in your room, you'll feel better. And if you start believing that, you know, I can say hello to everyone when I get into a room, I can talk to that girl, I can do whatever it is that you're afraid of, just by believing and just by trying and trying and trying, you'll be better at it. You'll have that positive feedback loop. So please just promise that you guys will try this exercise, that you will do those things. And if there's anyone that you know that should watch this video, that should try this exercise as well, please forward this to them. I want to help. 1,200,000 people by the end of this year. So please forward to them. Please comment. Follow my podcast. Follow my newsletter. There are a bunch of great things that are coming. And thank you so much for watching. Join the Rock and Roll to Success. You guys are rock stars. Let's go, go, go.